not getting enough time to work on your business. Full time job hai, family responsibilities hai, kids hai. And because of that, it's very difficult to manage time for working on your passion project. It happens, right? It happens with so many of us. So what's the solution, right? Uh, you are very you are very much passionate about something and you really want to build the business around it. And time is not getting enough time. ज्यादा से ज्यादा टाइम मैं दे सकूं अपने उस बिजनेस को बिल्ड करने में जो कि मेरा ड्रीम है एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू गिव मी माय ड्रीम लाइफ दैट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प मी टू अचीव माय गोल्स एंड आल्सो हेल्प मी टू गिव माय फैमिली अ बेटर लाइफ यस सो बहुत कुछ सोचा है करने के लिए बट वो टाइम ही मैनेज नहीं हो पा रहा है सो so, क्या किया जा सकता है इसमें व्हाट कुड बी डन सो लेट जस्ट फिगर इट आउट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर episode of this podcast okay so hello hello everyone my name is rishab jain i am a funnel marketing coach and my mission with this channel is to give you that give you the right strategies and tactics for building your coaching business along with your job as a side hustle because that 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 is exactly what i am doing it okay so let's just see that kaise kiya ja sakta hai how you can actually uh manage your time well if you are trying to build a business on the internet as a side hustle along with your full time job with along with uh, along with your family responsibilities and even if you have a kids okay so let's just start with the topic actually i am going to share with you five pointers and i will i will discuss about it that what are these five pointers and how you can actually use these to uh come up with more time right but usse pehle main ye kehna chahunga ki yes it happens with us and it's normal okay it's normal so sometimes what it, what happens is if you are not able to do it you feel very bad about yourself and you actually uh start telling yourself that you are not capable enough you cannot do it so if you are thinking like this because you are not able to manage your time well don't don't do this because it is actually creating a false belief in your mind that you cannot do it the the truth is you can do it the only thing is you need to take actions you need to take right actions to do it okay now it's very important for you to uh to to stay confident about yourself and to keep moving on this journey because ultimately the reward is something which is going to make a lot of difference in your life right the reward is something which is going to impact uh not only your life not only the life of your family but also the life of so many other people out there because you are going to solve a lot with your business that you are building that you are working on right so keep on keep moving on this journey and let's just see that what are these five pointers that can help you to time manage your time well uh actually uh, uh uh give you more time so that you can actually able to do it okay so i figured it out the i i figured it out these five steps after analyzing my own problem my own day and uh, uh i i thought okay let's just see that what could be done to to get the time because i am also not able to do it um and i also have all these challenges that i was talking about right so the first point that i want to talk about is analyzing the time suckers okay this is the first point so you have to analyze the time suckers in your entire day and what does it mean it means that there are so many activities that you are doing in your entire day which are taking a lot of your time but hame realize hi nahi hota hai ki wo itne sara time hamare leke ja rahe hain right so kaun si wo activities hain just figure it out wo kisi ke sath time spend hona karna ho sakta hai those toxic friends or some friends jo ki uh, just 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 come to you for for Uh, for and without any reason and uh, you actually don't want to spend that much time with them but you 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 are uh doing it so how you can cut it down right how how you can say no to sometimes to them so that you can have more time for yourself to work on your own passion right 
टू वर्क ऑन योर ओन बिजनेस सो ये हो सकता है इसके अलावा आपकी आप you you may be wasting you are you you may be wasting a lot of your time on social media you may be uh you may be sleeping a lot it it may also happening right you may be spending a lot of time on reading emails and replying them and you are not doing it systematically so just see just go through your entire day and see that what are those activities that are actually sucking a lot of my time and uh, write them down okay if you will do this and if you do this analysis you will figure it out a few things that which are not serving you and you can just let them go okay you just you just remove them you just cut short your time and start giving that time to your business or to working on your business okay so this is the first point now the second point is social media habits so just see that what are your social media habits how you are going to social media and uh, how much time you are actually spending there every single day and not only how much time on the one go but at the same time see that how many time you are actually unlocking your phone opening up facebook opening up instagram so observe these thing as well because if you are doing it so many times in a day it means that you are actually addicted or maybe you have some आपको कुछ ज्यादा ही उससे 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 एक एडिक्शन कह सकते हो यू कैन हैव एन काइंड ऑफ एडिक्शन जिसकी वजह से यू आर ओपनिंग इट अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन एंड इट इज एक्चुअली वेस्टिंग लॉट ऑफ योर टाइम बिकॉज वंस यू हैव ओपन द ऐप एंड एंटर्ड इन टू इट यू 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 एंड ऑफ वेस्टिंग लॉट ऑफ योर टाइम एंड यू डू नथिंग मीनिंगफुल बिकॉज इट वॉज अट इट वॉज जस्ट एन इम्पल्सिव रिएक्शन आपको बस एक अंदर से अर्ज हुआ कि मुझे ओपन करना है मुझे फेसबुक देखना चाहिए आपने देखा बट कोई इंटेंशन नहीं था उसके पीछे यू डोंट हैव एनी गुड इंटेंशन एनी इंटेंशन ऑफ बिजनेस लाइक यू कि आप वहां पर जाके लोगों से एंगेज करोगे ताकि आपका एंगेजमेंट बढ़े या उनके साथ कनेक्शन बिल्ड हो आपका या फिर आप वहां पर कोई इंफॉर्मेशन कंज्यूम करने गए थे कि ओके आई एम गोइंग टू स्पेंड टेन मिनट्स हेयर और नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन मिनट्स हेयर जस्ट टू कंज्यूम द गुड क्वालिटी कॉन्टेंट नो कोई इंटेंट नहीं था इट वॉज जस्ट इम्पल्सिव और वो टाइम वेस्टर है दैट इज टोटली अ टाइम वेस्टर so you have to analyze ki are you doing this thing or not if you are doing this thing just remove it okay do it intentionally it's not bad to go on social media and check it but when you are going there you should have your intentions very clear that why you are going there what is the purpose so my advice to you is whenever you are going to social media have some intention like either you are going to make some connections there either you are going to engage with your audience or you are going there to consume the valuable information that can help you to grow okay not uh, do these things only and otherwise don't do it randomly okay try to avoid it as much as possible aur agar aapko karna hi hai to you can have a dedicated time to it you can decide okay every day i am going to give half an hour or one and one hour to just scroll social media and do whatever i want to do okay you can have dedicated time but being a side hustler it's a little bit of difficult for us right uh um, if you have a full time job and if you are doing a lot of other stuff juggling multiple things it's 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 obviously very difficult because you are not getting time for your own business how will you get it for social media okay so try to cut it down but if you want if you really want to do it allocate a dedicated time and just do do at that time and otherwise just go with right intention utilize it for the growth of your business okay so try to be a creator not the consumer in this plat in social media platforms so this is the second pointer your checking your social media habits okay now let's just see what is the third point so the third point is building a system that is doable and can be followed okay so this is very important because if you are doing things randomly in your entire day then nothing is going to happen and you will not be able to achieve anything okay the ultimate thing that you need to do is you need to build systems the systems that you can follow so that you have the predictability about the time okay you know exactly okay this much amount of time i am going to get even if i have a job even if i have family responsibilities yes sometimes uh, uh life happens so many other things are happening and ho sakta hai ki aap wo system exactly na follow kar pao but it is the story of one day not every day okay 
Sometimes it happens, but most of the days you have the predictability, right? So this is very important, building a system. Like what I am doing right now, I am working on a 100 minute a day system, okay? 100 minute a day. And it's, it's one of the very, uh, I would say, uh, very ambitious project of mine um, that I'm working on. It's a system and I really want to build this system and give, give, you, give to you guys um, and uh, teach people. Okay, so it, there are so many things inside this system, but the goal is to how one can give 100 minutes a day and still can do his his or her side as well build his business along with all the other things along with family responsibilities job and kids and all other stuff that is happening in the life okay so you you can build your own system you can for that you need to decide okay how how your morning is going to look like how your night is going to look like how you are going to spend the evening time okay design your day build systems and if you will do that and if you if you will remove the uh, uncertainty and try to bring the predictability you will see that yes you are getting more time okay so this is the third third thing that you need to do now let's just see what is the fourth point so the fourth thing is emotional management okay it may seem a little bit off track but it's important it's really important because our emotions play a very important role in our productivity and how we utilize our time if we are not feeling good, maybe we have a time, we can do our work, but, but still we don't do it. We may be just lying down and wasting the, wasting the time because the emotions are not in our control. Okay, so you need to practice emotional management, control, try to be in control of your emotions, not in control of your emotions, but try to control your emotions. Okay, manage them well. And uh, one of the things that you can do is stay focused toward your goals, invest time in your learning and uh, do positive affirmations. Try to avoid the arguments with your spouse, with anyone, uh, uh, because it is ultimately going to uh, uh, create a kind of uh, emotional turmoil and going to waste a lot of time. Okay, so try to manage your emotions really well. And if you can do that, you will see that yes, you are more productive and you are actually utilizing your time really well in your entire day. So this is the fourth and a very, very important point that that so many people and I would say most of the people are not talking about. Okay, but I really want to talk about it in today's episode. Okay, now let's just see what is the fifth point. So the fifth point that I want to talk to you with, this is the last point, but very important one. So the last point is self-discipline. Self-discipline is one of the most important factor because if you are not disciplined enough, nothing is going to work. If you want to stay stick with your system, you need to be disciplined. If you want to follow your social media habits, you need to be disciplined, right? So, uh, discipline is ulti is the ultimate thing. You may have your design, you may design your day. You have everything on your calendar. You build a system, but you will not follow it anyway if you are not disciplined enough. It happened with me. When I have calendar, pe, everything I have marked that uh, I'm going to do this and this and this with time slots, everything. But, and it and notification is also coming on my mobile from my calendar, but I'm not doing it. Why? Because I'm not disciplined, right? So, discipline is very important. When you are, you, 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 you are very particular about why you are doing what you are doing, you, uh, you, you remind yourself again and again that this is why the, I am doing this and why this thing is very important for me. Uh, it will help you to stay disciplined. Okay, so try to be, try to practice the self discipline, and if you will do this one thing, uh, you will be able to do all the other things that I told you previously, and ultimately you will be see you you will be able to manage your time really well and will have a lot more time to build your business along with your job as a side as well okay so for a reminder let me just let me just summarize the let me just uh actually uh, summarize these four points again so the first point is 
analyzing the time suckers go and just analyze your entire day and see that what are those time sucker activities that is wasting a lot of your time the second is social media habits so check your social media habits check your intentions why you are going on social media how frequently you are going there okay this is the second point third point is building systems and that are doable and can be followed okay so build doable systems the systems which actually you can follow easy 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 and uh, simple to follow systems and when you have a system when you have a predictability you you will see a lot more time uh, for your business the fourth one is emotional management so manage your emotions because if you if you if there is an emotional turmoil you will not do anything and you you may have a time but you still waste it okay so emotional management is the fourth one and the fifth one is self discipline just follow the self discipline practice self discipline as much as you can and the more disciplined you are the more you will be able to do all these things and the more time you will have okay so i hope that you actually got the uh, clarity and you got the value from today's episode and from this video so if you feel that it helped you and you got something uh that that can actually help you in your life to make your life better to give and it's going to give you more time just like this video share it and also don't forget to tell me in the comment section which one is your fab favorite and which is you are going to actually follow okay so that's all for this particular episode i will see you in the next one very soon and um, i have tons of videos on my channel related to funnel marketing related to coaching business and also mindset so just go watch them and uh, i will see you again thank you